football to week five of Football Friday Night. I'm Adam Cellini alongside Dwayne Lindo. And if you're a team playing on the Sun Coast tonight, you either won big or lost big. A couple close games in between, but uh, I think a couple more blowouts out there, huh? Yeah, and you know, you have a few teams looking for their first win of the season. Quite a few. Yeah, surprisingly here in week five. We'll, uh, we'll tell you who, who got that win and, and who didn't. And we'll start with our game of the week, Bayshore High School. One of those teams looking for not only their first win, but their first points of the season. They've only played two games so far. They take on a tough Palmetto Tiger football team tonight. Palmetto holding teams to less than 10 points on average this season. But tonight, they do some scoring of their own. Quarterback Jason Spicer Jr. does doesn't like what he sees, decides to do it himself. The converted wide receiver runs it in from 16 yards out. Palmetto up seven to nothing. Then in the second quarter, Bayshore trying to keep things close and Spicer Jr. looking for wide out Reggie White and defensive back Dyson Walls. A good play there, Dwayne. Wow, great defensive play. Coming across, knocking that ball away, showing a little bit of life there, Bayshore. Now still in the second quarter, no one was here to stop Elijah Davis. He is untouched, running it in from the one. The Bruins blanked again. Still no points for the Bruins. They lose their third game 40 to nothing. Tigers just too much. Yeah. Now Palmetto was looking good tonight, but so did their district rival, Dwayne. Well, Adam, when you think of dominant programs in Miami, you think of Booker T. Washington, Miami Central, Miami Northwestern, Miami Coral Reef. Not so much. Remember last year, this time, the Indians beat Coral Reef 37-7. to The question is, will the Barracudas bite back this time around? We start off in the first with a handoff to Matt LaRoche. The kid's nickname is Speedy, and we see why as he runs past one, two, three defenders to the pylon oh. to make it 7 nothing Indians. Nice play. I mean, crushing. Indians playing a little defense as well. Noah Lay picks off this one, and... What does he do with it, Adam? Oh, he's taking that to the house. Oh, yeah. abs absolutely. Everybody's trying to score tonight. You got it. Venice up by a lot at this <laughs> point. And a little more Indian defense as Jared Bailey gets it, the INT, and takes it 45 yards for the score. Indian wins big in this one, Adam. 68 to nothing. Now down the road in Port Charlotte, new head coach Dumaka Atkins and the Booker Tornadoes looking for their first win, trying to snap Port Charlotte's three-game win streak on Pirates homecoming night. The tornado strike first. Linebacker Tory Mitchell in that pile there. Somehow strips the ball for a great defensive play. Excellent. Excellent. Still in the first. The Pirates driving this time. And Sean Campbell runs it five yards into traffic. For the first score of the game, Pirates up 7-0. The pride of Port Charlotte right there, the band. They're <laughs> yeah, loving they it. Are. So in the second, quarterback Paul Barnes with the keeper takes it 18 yards going into tornado territory. You can see there. Same drive. Guess who? 22, Sean Campbell scores on a four-yard touchdown run. Campbell scores three times for the night. Pirates get their fourth win of the season, 28 to nothing. Yeah, tough, tough one for Booker. Now, Booker yes. is in that 5A District 11, Dwayne, and we've talked a few times. That um, is still kind of up for grabs right now. There's been a little bit of district play, but um, maybe we can get in some early predictions. Who do you like coming out of that district? Well, you have Hardy at 3-2, and two, DeSoto at 1-2-1, one, and one, Southeast at 1-2. One, one and two. I think, like you said, this is a toss-up for this uh, particular district. These three teams, I mean, it could go either way with these three teams. I think these three teams, Hardy probably has the edge, but... Who knows? I, I think um, I think I, I liked Booker early in the season. The coach um, shuffle there uh, kind of took them down a little bit in my book. I was hoping for Bayshore, but they're struggling to score, obviously. I'm thinking Southeast. They got a lot of athletes, a lot of talent, and probably Hardy. Hardy's playing well, like you said, 3-2 and two right now. Um, it'll probably be those two teams in my book, maybe. I yeah, and, and actually, so does Booker. Booker has a lot of athletes. Don't forget, Dumaka Atkins, first-year coach, just uh, this is his second game as coach, uh, former Florida State standout. He played under Bobby Bowden for four years, so you know he's all about discipline. Sure. And he has his athletes. He'll instill discipline within those athletes. But it is tough to come in in the middle of the season, too, and 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 do that. You know, in, in game two, game three, you don't have that preseason work with those guys. He's not um, an administrator at the school, actually. He works at Sarasota High School, so mm -hmm. a lot of things kind of a toss-up for them. But I love Dumak Eggs. Don't get me wrong. His, his resume speaks for itself. We'll just see if he can instill some of that stuff. You got it. You know, in the middle of the season. Coming up here on Football Friday Night, we'll have the private schools playing tonight tonight and also our football Friday night flashback. Stick around. ABC 7 News at 7 weeknights. Welcome to the all new Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Seymour smiles. Seymour quality selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Seymour for your trade. Seymour savings. 
The 2017 Acadia Limited makes a strong first impression. Step up to GMC and get $3,000 in bonus cash on select 2017 GMC Acadia Limiteds. See more now at Seymour Buer GMC on the island of Venice. Go to SeymourBuerGMC.com. Come uncork your inner artist at Painting with a Twist. Bring your favorite bottle of wine and appetizers and enjoy an evening out with friends to celebrate any special occasion. It's perfect for a girl's night out, birthday parties, or a fun date night. Painting with a Twist offers two or three hour classes that are instructed by local artists and there is no experience required. We now have two convenient locations in Sarasota and Bradenton. Visit our website to view our calendar and schedule your next party today. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT Wingard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT Wingard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Getting older shouldn't mean giving up all the things she loves to do. It should just mean, well, finding new ways to do them. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to provide help with personal care, housekeeping, and of course, meal preparation. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, and it tastes good too. <laughs> we can provide the right care right at home. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, we make sure you get the most for your money. More years, more miles, more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. And right now, you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2016 Subaru Forester for just $209 a month. Complimentary maintenance included. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Welcome back, everyone. I hope your lotto numbers hit. Uh, <laughs> Lemon Bay High School tonight going down a weight class, hosting a 3A Cardinal Mooney team that's playing pretty well right now, Dwayne. Oh, darn well. The 0-3 Manta Ray still looking for that elusive first win that we were talking about. And maybe LB the Manta Ray can bring some luck. I love that mascot. Wig <laughs> wiggling the flaps. We're ready to go. Second quarter tied at seven. It's the Manta Ray H-back Braden Curry, and he won't be denied on the goal line. Lemon Bay goes up 14 to seven. Now the next Cardinal Mooney possession, it's Cougar quarterback Tristan Hillerick throwing a dart to tight end Sean White. White hits the Jets for 46 yards, ties the game back up. Put on those Jets. There you go. Now the Cougars would get the ball back with about 30 seconds left in the half, and that's all Hillerick would need. Another 48-yard dagger to this Manta Ray defense. Nice. This time it's number seven, Jack Costco with the score. The Cougars take a six-point lead going into the locker room, and they will win it 27-14. to now we head over to Bradenton Christian, another team, Dwayne, looking for that first win. They're hosting yes. Deltona Trinity Christian. First quarter, Dominic Oteni fakes out the Eagle defense and our camera. Play action, finds number four, Kevin Etienne. They go up 7 nothing. Now, Daytona, oh, so, excuse me, at, after the point, they go for the muddle huddle extra point. And it's linebacker Brett Gerber who would take the snap and take it across for two. Now that's a Dr. Pepper play of the game. Right <laughs> <laughs> Trinity Christian would score 20 unanswered, but in the second quarter, it's Oteni calling his own number. Jukes out the corner and high steps it in for six. They would try the muddle huddle one more time after this score. Not oh, good. Not quite. Yeah, fool me once. Fool me once, maybe. There would be no comeback in this one. The final score, 57 to 35. Bradenton Christian still winless. Now let's take a look at some other scores from around the Sun Coast. Braden River getting it done on the road tonight. Lakewood Ranch not so fortunate playing a close game at Sun Lake. Riverview also coming up short against Palm Harbor University. And after an 8.45 delayed start, Charlotte is currently on top of Fort Myers 17-6. That is a score update. I know it says 10-6 in there. And last but not least, IMG Academy stays perfect. They're winning big, or they won big, against Boyd Anderson in Lauderdale Lakes. 
Now we mentioned bye weeks earlier. There's a number of bye weeks tonight. Look at the six area teams who all got vacations on a Friday night, Blaine. Wow, I mean, uh, you know. Not bad to be yeah. a high Pickens. schooler, you know. Yeah. So remember what Friday night was like. You got it. There you go. I mean, the, people forget they sign up, uh, they sign up to play. They don't get to hang out all the time. Well, you know, you need that bye week, you know, get these coaches prepared, get the, the players prepared. So it just seems that everyone had that bye week on the same week. <laughs> okay, man. So that's, that so was the issue. everyone's rested. You're right. probably playing another team that's right. rested. Now, tonight for our Football Friday Night Flashback, we're going back just a few years to the birth of a football powerhouse. The fortunes of the Braden River Pirates turned when the school hired current head coach Kurt Bradley in 2012. After a